The scales of justice are a magnificent instrument. They can be tipped in either direction at the slightest touch. David Stevenson is a man with a most delicate touch. He doesn't care whether they go this way or that. I'm a famous lawyer now. But now I know that you have lied when you promised to make me your lawful bride. This won't hurt, Sylvia. It won't hurt at all. Are you sure, David? I'm a famous lawyer now. I can't marry an obscure girl. With the right marriage, I can be governor, senator, you can only make a scandal for me. So it has to end like this. It has to. Will it be like a caress? A kiss? Will it be like the touch of your hand? Will it be? Oh, the roses, the roses. Sylvia. Sylvia! Who? What? Who is it? Who? Oh, Johnson. Gee, it's about time I've been knocking a knock. I was asleep, dreaming. Yeah, what about? Legal documents? <laughs> how, did, how did it go? I did it. It was easy. Nobody saw me. I used a silencer. The girl's dead. So we're evened up now. I don't owe you anything, huh? You get out of town and wait where we told you to. Oh, sure, Counselor. Sure. Is it a bad dream, Counselor? You got pangs of conscience? Never mind my conscience. Oh, sure. I forgot you're a big criminal lawyer. You don't have to worry about conscience, huh? You can talk conscience, deaf, dumb, and blind, including your own. And you're good at convincing, too. Hey, you remember that time you convinced my jury I was visiting friends? When <laughs> to put it mildly, I wasn't. <laughs> now, never mind, mate. You wait out at the Bennett place. Get out of town. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. You know that girl? She didn't even believe it right up till the end. She didn't even yell. She just looked surprised. Pleasant dreams, Counselor. Hello. Is this Mr. Stevenson? Mr. David Stevenson? Yes, who is this? Mrs. Smith calling. I should like to make an appointment to see you in your office tomorrow. Manuel, I'm not in the habit of making appointments in the middle of the night. But I need a lawyer, Mr. Stevenson. I shall be in your office at 10 tomorrow. You'll kindly phone the office first and inquire if... Hello? Hello? Good morning, Mr. Stevenson. Who are you? Mrs. Smith. It's 10 o'clock, time for my appointment. How did you get in? I walk very quietly. Mrs. Smith, I asked you to phone. I'm a very busy man. That scent of roses, it's you. Well, what do you want? Justice, that's why I'm here. People say there is no criminal lawyer like David Stevenson. He has a genius for defending other people. Thank you, but what do you want? I want you to press charges against a man, Mr. Stevenson. Madam, there's a small claims court where you can get complete satisfaction. But he shot me. Was this a joke? No. 
Did you inform the police? Should have done that immediately. I want you to handle the case. Mrs. Smith, if a man shot at you, you don't need a lawyer. Go I want your... you to take the case. Go to the police, Mrs. Smith. He shot me only last night. When? Last night. Madam, the function of an attorney... Function? I am a client against whom a crime has been committed. You have defended so many people who have committed actual crimes, Mr. Stevenson. Prosecute the guilty for once. Prosecute the guilty. Where did you get that? Why? I saw another one like it. This is mine. Madam, I can't handle your case. You will please leave. I shall come back tomorrow. Perhaps you will have changed your mind. Don't come back tomorrow. I absolutely will not change my mind. Tomorrow morning at 10, Mr. Stevenson. Midge. Oh, what's the matter? Don't let that woman in tomorrow. If she comes to see me, I'm not in. What woman? That Mrs. Smith who just went out of here. Went out? Mrs. Stevenson, I didn't see anyone leave. What's happened to your normally calm, forceful look, Mr. Stevenson? The strong, confident expression of the great lawyer. I told Midge not to let you in. But it's ten o'clock. Don't. All I want is your answer. Will you press charges against this man for me? I told you no. Why are you so upset? You faced dozens of juries, cross-examined, summed up, defended. So many with such a calm and clear brilliance. Why are you upset now? Perfect, madam, I'll refer you to another attorney. He'll there is no other man I can go to. Why? Because you never fail, Mr. Stevenson. What you set out to do, you achieved. You say he shot at you. He evidently didn't hit you. Oh, yes. He hit me, Mr. Stevenson. But you walk, you talk. It could only have been a minor wound. Is it a minor wound to be shot through the heart? Through the heart? It happened at 221 Daly Street. Who are you? Don't you really know, David? It's Sylvia. I don't know any Sylvia. Oh, yes, you do. Sylvia Willis. The girl that asked for marriage and who was promised marriage. The private affair that none of the great judges or any of the famous political leaders knew anything about. The woman who refused to give you up when you decided you wanted a more influential marriage. Lies. I tell you, I don't know any... <laughs> Sylvia. Yes, David. Sylvia, didn't you really recognize me from the first? That's not your voice. You should know death changes everything. Death? What are you talking about? Don't you know you had me killed, don't you remember? What sort of game is this? I want David Stevenson prosecuted. Prosecuted me? What for? Prosecuted for my murder. Is this some kind of a frame-up? That fake get-up and that phony voice? Midge! Midge! I suppose Johnson's in on that, too. Well, I'll beat you and that gunman friend at you at your own game. Midge! What is it, Mr. Stevenson? Get that woman up. She's alive. She's not dead. What are you talking about? Who's that alive? That girl, that Sylvia. What are you trying to do, blackmail me? But of course the girl's dead. She was here in this office yesterday and this morning. But you're crazy. You're crazy. Look, counselor, uh, why should I try to frame you? You've got things on me locked up in your vault. You took this up between you, eh? Huh? See, it's 
I think it was the DT's only, only, you know, it smell of whiskey, so it must be up here. It's, it's all in your head seeing her counselor. See, that's a hot one, you know, Stevenson, a big criminal lawyer, nuts. What is it, the money you're after? You and she? I tell you, she's dead and you're seeing things. You're seeing things well, in your head. Well, I got no conscience. I got no echoes in my head, boy. I could use this thing and not lose any sleep. You won't get away with this. You're crazy. You're wacky. I'm getting out of here. See, there won't be that Bennett place either. If you try to double cross me, remember, this is my judge. Yes? Miss Willis in? No. No, she isn't. She went away. Where? I. I don't know. I'm only the cleaning woman. When will she be back? Listen, mister, I don't know nothing. She went away. That's all I know. Tell her to call David Stevenson when she gets back. Tell... That man, he was asking about her. Homicide, please. Hello, Berger. Say, uh, who do you think has taken the Willis case? David Stevenson. Oh, Mr. Stevenson, I've been trying to locate you. The police want you. Police? Mm-hmm. Something about a murder at a Daly Street address. They want to know who retained you in the case. Retained me? They were pretty surprised since they'd kept the killing out of the papers. The police think that maybe the person they're looking for is the one you were hired to defend. Well, want me to let you know when they arrive? They should be here any minute. Midge, there really was a murder on Daly Street, wasn't there? Of course, Mrs. Stevenson. Is there anything I could... We've been waiting for you, Mrs. Stevenson. It's time for the trial to begin. Here is your jury and your judge. I think you know them. You have won freedom for their killers, and they are here to judge you. But you're dead. Yes, we're all dead. Henry Jordan. Death by strangulation. Mary Delaney. Poison. George Hines. By knife. Carl Mueller. Gun. Gentlemen, it is time to begin. I accuse David Stevenson of murder. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. But you're dead. You're shadows. You can't try me. None of you exists. But our murders are real. Are they illusions? But you're not real. Do you not see us? Do we not exist for you now? Let us proceed with the case. Are you afraid of defending yourself? You, the great, the triumphant, the clever lawyer? Are you frightened? I'm frightened by nothing. Then defend! Defend! All right, I will! And what I've done in one court, I can do in another. Temporarily, I recognize the jurisdiction of this court. But I challenge this jury. They are the victims of clients I've defended. They'll be biased and prejudiced. 
Nonetheless, you will receive justice. Nonetheless, answer my questions. Did I draw the scarf tied around your neck, Henry Jordan, Mary Delaney? Did I put poison in your cup? Himes? Did I wield the knife that killed you? Admitted. You did not wield the power or the blow. Still, you are an accessory after the fact. You knew the truth. Irrelevant. The truth is never irrelevant. The truth! The only relevant truth is success and victory and the wealth and influence they bring. I call this from the record. Object. Objection overruled. The jury has been chosen. You chose it by your deeds. <laughs> oh, that's a minor technicality. It has been implied here that I'm somewhat guilty because I've gained victory for my clients. Gentlemen, it's the duty of an attorney to protect his clients. I have never presumed to sit in judgment of my fellow man. Merely defended him in his difficulties. Justice, judgment, it has always seemed to me to be the divine right of someone higher than all of us. I shall not usurp his eternal prerogative. Gentlemen, the defense is doing what he has done brilliantly so many times before. Becloud and confuse the simple issue of innocence and guilt, he is doing it now. Deliberately, calculatingly, dissipating the real issue. The murder of the girl on Daly Street. I had nothing to do with it. Let the prosecutor finish. David Stevenson planned it. Lies. Lies. There are no lies here but yours. What motive could I have for killing that woman? You'll notice she doesn't refer to any motive. Motive? A fear of scandal. Produce evidence of motive. Gentlemen, he is guilty. Did you see me fire that gun? The defense forgets we have other ways of seeing he things than he. Such evidence is not admissible in a court of law. The defense also forgets. There are other laws in this court. I didn't fire that gun. Still, the witness accuses you of murder. The witness lies. Toward what end? She is dead. We are all dead. Toward what end should she lie? What is she to gain? Revenge. Has she a cause for revenge or reason? Do you admit that? I tell you, I had nothing to do with the it. The court finds your answers evasive. What court? I'm only here because I agreed to be. I can walk out of here this minute. And that's the end of this court. Do you think so? Think. I know. That this court will meet elsewhere. It can meet any time, any place, anywhere. It is here now only because you are here. There is justice to be carried out. You may follow me from room to street, to office pursuing me, but you're only shadows. Shadow, shall I be afraid of such a court? I'm David Stevenson. They speak of me as the next governor, as a man to watch. I'm used to victories. Afraid of such a court? All right, I did it. I sent Johnson an accessory before the facts. I murdered, but prove it. I'll even give you my motive. I did it because this world's a jungle. Nothing counts but power. It's a natural law. You're nothing without it. I had Sylvia Willis murdered because she threatened my position. There will be no speeches. Let the case proceed. Case proceed? What case? You're dead. You can't harm me. What court will hear your evidence? What witness chair waits for you? You can't on me. I'm alive. You're nothing. Prove in my world that which I freely admit here. I murdered the girl on Daly Street. Yeah. 
Yeah. What legal maneuvers could you bring against me now for my acts? Hmm? I've lived only one way. I haven't dreamed. I've acted. The only crime is defeat. You will be punished. You have prosecuted yourself with brilliance. No one will punish me. The whole world of the grave will cry out for David Stevenson murdered. But no one will hear you. A vast cry. Nothing. Silence. You'll still pass you by, giving your headstones a quick, indifferent glance. The dead are weak. A giant army of the dead, weak, ineffectual, helpless. Mr. Stevenson, you're under arrest for the murder of Sylvia Willis. NBC Television. Out.